Share Micah, really a scary situation. As you said, we still don't know what caused that train to derail in the first place. But what I can tell you, according to Union Pacific, was nobody was on that train operating it when that all happened. Now, afterwards, a fire did ignite. San Bernardino County Fire tells me that that was out by the time they got there. But, uh, you know, we drove all the way out here to take a look for ourselves. Unfortunately, we're not allowed nearby, but we did see cleanup crews stationed nearby. It's astonishing because, you know, we always think that rails are going to run flawlessly, so it makes you wonder what happened. It's, it's scary um, because of the, the physical danger that happens and also just because of the chemicals that are exposed. The aerial images say it all. A runaway train derailing in the Mojave Desert causing a mangled mess. A bird's eye view of the wreckage showing a large area of the desert blackened after Union Pacific officials say 55 cars and two locomotives derailed while traveling southbound near Kel Baker Road and Kelso Kaima Road in Kelso towards the outskirts of San Bernardino County. When we got to the rail crossings, I always tell my kids we're going to stay a little further back than normal because these things will occasionally derail, hopefully not. Edward De La Loza was visiting the Kelso Depot Visitor Center nearby with his kids. He didn't realize what happened until we told him. He says it's concerning considering the train derailment disaster that happened in East Palestine, Ohio, that resulted in a detrimental chemical spill. Other visitors say it's something they'll remember. For me, like for a traveler, you know, it's a very important moment because I came here in the, in the day, which will be a, a day of the history for this place as well. Union Pacific officials turned down an interview with us, but say the train was hauling iron ore, which spilled out. The incident also causing a minor fuel leak, requiring the need for hazmat crews. No word on what caused the derailment. The crew was not in the cab when it happened and they weren't injured. No passengers were on board. You've got the desert that stretches for miles out here. Officials say there is no threat to the public or to the environment. Now, it's still unclear again uh, how long this cleanup is going to take, but we have been told that train traffic in that area has been stopped for the investigation. Reporting live in Ludlow, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.